So I wanted to record uh, one more Lowe's story, the best Lowe's story of my time working at Lowe's, and that's the story of Peggy. And I'm making a video. So, so Peggy had a f refrigerator that was supposed to be delivered, and this refrigerator was on back order and it wasn't supposed to be until late November and I started calling Peggy telling her her refrigerator wasn't in back when I first started I would probably her, her order would come up I'd look for her order it wasn't in yet and I'd call her and tell her sorry Peggy your your refrigerator's not in yet it's not coming and she's the sweetest nicest old um, elderly lady with a southern accent she just moved up to Michigan uh, from North Carolina or South Carolina sweetest uh, accent sweet always understanding never mad and I would literally have to call Peggy every couple of weeks and tell her that her refrigerator was still not here and it wasn't coming one time the salesman thought we got her refrigerator in and put it in the lineup of appliances and it was ready to go and I was so excited and I called Peggy and said, hey, uh, Peggy, I got good news. Your refrigerator's here and it's on its way. And then um, the manager said that, no, that's not her refrigerator. It's someone else's that came in earlier and it's not hers and we can't send that one. So I had to call Peggy back and say, um, sorry, we thought we had your refrigerator, but we don't and we're not sending it. And again, she was completely understanding and so nice about it. And so many people uh, were not nice, even that didn't have to go through that for the simplest things. Uh, people are not nice. And she was just so nice all the time. Oh yeah, I, I understand in her Southern accent. And a few weeks ago, I called Peggy again and said, Peggy, sorry, your refrigerator's still not in. And she's, you know, still super nice. And, and I would forget her name because I call so many people and I have to look at so many people's names. And um, I'd have to call so many of them and I'd forget who was who. And the name would look familiar, and then I'd call the name, and she would answer, and I'd remember it's her, and it, it made me feel so terrible that yet again I was calling her, telling her her refrigerator was not in yet. And the last time I called her, she said, you know, I have to tell you, I was telling my son and daughter-in-law about the nice man that I've been talking to at Lowe's, the nice man that's just telling her her refrigerator's still not here, after weeks and weeks and weeks. And I thought, God, that's so nice, thank you. Like you would mention the guy at Lowe's that's calling you to your son and daughter-in-law even. That's mind boggling to me. Uh, but I was, I was thankful for that. And she said, you know, and, and they asked what your name was. And I told them, it, it sounds like Cyril or something like that. It's a, a interesting name. And they are like, are you sure that Cyril, is that it? And she's like, yes, Cyril. And, and they were like, oh, I think that's the owner of our gym. And turns out, sure enough, it was uh, uh, two of our athletes, long-term athletes that have been coming since uh, a long time ago, back when we had our old place. And uh, it's, it's their mom. And that made it even more special. And... Uh, Today, uh, a few days ago, I noticed that there was a refrigerator that matched the refrigerator that she was supposed to get. It had someone else's name on it. I looked it up. Turns out that refrigerator was returned. So um, I asked that if we could send that to, that was the fridge she was uh, supposed to have, even though hers was technically coming not till the end of November. We had it sitting there. It's just going to sit there until someone else orders it. And it was a return and I asked if we could send that one. And they said yes, after we do some computer things that 
put it back in the system so our inventory system is not messed up, um, which is surprising since the inventory system says sometimes we have negative 50 and we have a thousand and sometimes it says we have a thousand and we have negative 50. So uh, the fact that one refrigerator could mess the inventory system up is, is interesting. Uh, but I asked if, can we please send this refrigerator to Peggy since it's been returned and they did whatever they needed to do in the system. And my last act at Lowe's at, before leaving Lowe's was to make sure that Peggy's refrigerator is on the truck tomorrow. Hopefully they won't screw it up, but the refrigerator has her name on it. It's going on the truck tomorrow, and if uh, it makes me proud that, that if that's the only good thing I did at Lowe's was to send Peggy her refrigerator, the mom of two of our members, then uh, I'm fulfilled. <laughs>